So, I was sexually abused when I was 12 years old, in grade 6. It was somebody I knew, somebody I thought I could trust. It was somebody in the neighborhood. In fact, it was a person who wasn't much older than I was at the time. He was in high school. I remember how confused I felt at the time. I remember not fully coming to grips uh, with what was going on. I didn't even have a name in my vocabulary for what was going on. But something about it just didn't feel right. So I literally sat my parents down one day after school um, and told them told them everything, told them exactly what had happened to me and um, and they knew what to do. Not long after that uh, I was in communication with a social worker from the SAPS um, and the matter ended up in court. The most important thing I remember from that period um, is realizing when I wasn't the only one who was affected by this. See, at the time, I had thought, why me? You know, what, what, what was it about me that, um, that this person decided to prey on? But I wasn't the only one. And it only came out in court that I wasn't the only one. Um, to this day, I, I wonder how differently that situation would have panned out had I not spoken up, had I not been open and honest with my parents. You know, the, the most terrible thing about rape and sexual abuse is that the effects are felt forever. And it's definitely been the case for me. Um, it changed who I was at the time and informed who I would be as an adult, um, learning to trust, uh, learning to be open and intimate with somebody in a relationship, learning to form relationships, learning to keep relationships. It's something that I am still learning at the tender age of 31.